What's going on guys? Thanks for tuning in. Today we're taking a quick look at the Marvel Legends Absorbing Man Build-A-Figure Venom. Um, it's been a while since we had a Marvel Legends Venom. Uh, in this wave, I'm basically just probably going to get Venom. Uh, he's probably my favorite one out of them. I really did not like how they used the Hyperion body. I feel like the Hyperion body looks kind of stumpy. Um, but if you get him in the right pose, he looks really nice. I got him on this spawn cross here. There is a peg right there, so I just kind of used that and pegged the, uh, he had a, he has a, a hole at the bottom of his feet, so you could plug it in. So I got him in this pose here. I thought that looks pretty badass. Um, but other than that, I just cannot see him just standing up and down. I just have... It's just the thigh area is huge, and then I have a huge problem with uh, the, the the feats that they chose for him. It just looks really, really big. Just give you a 360 view. Uh, that's what it looks like in the back. But yeah, this is from the spawn, I think the 30th anniversary, the cross. So, um, let's take them off, and then I will show you what I mean. Um, <clears throat> so his foot, right here. I don't know if you guys can see that. Look at that. Right there. Let's see if it's focused in there. It looks like he's wearing shoes that is too big for him. I don't know. Like, he's wearing Crocs or something. It's just... This huge spacing here, it it does it, it really bugs me, and uh, like standing straight up and down, I feel like he's a little stumpy. I don't know if you guys know what I mean, but I just feel like this body mold. Um, I actually would like to see if they use like the bulldozer uh, body mold, which is his. For some reason, I feel like if they use his body mold, I think it will be a little better. Just a little more portion. And Venom's a huge guy, so Bulldozer, I think, uh, would have been a great mold for them to use. Um, but, yeah. Here is the, um, it was the Anti-Venom. This is the same body mold. Exact same body. Different hands, of course. Different head sculpt. But, um, but I do feel like the definitive Venom for me would have to be the Marvel Select. This guy is just absolute beast. I mean, come on, look at that, guys. I mean, the de the details on the paint. Uh, you could just just the Marvel Select just looks way more organic, more beastly, uh, more accessories, of course. And I really do like the tongue on this one. Uh, I feel like this figure is more cartoony, which is really nice. Um, here he is next to the Pizza Spidey. Right there. there. So they go hand in hand pretty well. Not bad. Here is the Marvel Select. Uh, Marvel Select Carnage, which is one of my absolute favorite. A little out of scale. But still, really nice. And um, with this Venom, he comes with his other head here. Which is really good detail, good paint. let focus in. There you go. Nice clean lines, I really do like that. Popping these head in and out is kind of a pain. And he also comes with uh, closed fist hands. And for the uh, the build a figure piece, he comes with the two absorbing man heads. Really nice figure. Um, again, I'm most likely not going to be collecting the whole wave. Uh, I might get the um, the Ben Riley Spidey Carnage. Um, other than that, uh, I'm just getting this guy and maybe getting an absorbing man on eBay later on. But uh, yeah, guys, great figure. I recommend it if you don't uh, mind the stumpy lookingness. Um, if you find a really good pose on him, he'll look really great. Uh, part of your line, your Spider-Man line. 
So uh, comment below, let me know what you guys think, like the video, subscribe for more content, and thanks for tuning in, and until next time guys, keep on collecting. See you later.